Hey everybody, it's Shannon. Um, sorry for my voice tonight. I have a cold, so I sound kind of funny, but I'm going to be having surgery next week, so I wanted to go ahead and film a couple videos before that happens. That way I can go ahead and post them up to my blog while I'm recovering. Um, what we're going to do tonight is we're just going to make a card. Um, I'm going to use some an owl stamp here. These are some stamps that I just got in recently. So we're going to use this little owl little tree branch and a phrase that says, I'll always love you. Um, we're going to be using some close to my heart markers and ink, some stays on, some Prismacolor pencils to color this in, and some ribbon from close to my heart. So let's go ahead and get started. Let me move all this out of the way. All right, we're starting with a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. I just like to get cheap cardstock from the office section in Walmart. It's actually a 110 pound weight, but you get a really big package of it. I think it's 110 sheets for around $5. So it's a really good deal. So, those are 8.5 by 11. We're just going to cut this in half. So we're going to cut it at 5.5. Okay, so one sheet of cardstock can make two cards. We're just going to go ahead and fold this in half. And I have a bone folder here that we're going to be using just to give it a nice crisp look. Let's go ahead and stamp our image. I'm using these stamps. These are unmounted stamps from Victorine Originals, and I'll have the stamp set and all the information about the supplies I used uh, in this video right below the video. So if you look down here, you'll see it. Um, so anyway, these are unmounted stamps. You just put them on cling foam, and then you use an acrylic block with them. Now what I'm going to actually do is use markers instead of a stamp pad because I want the branch a different color from the leaves. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a marker and color in my image. Okay, you can also do this if you have markers but don't have a lot of different color stamp pads. This is a good way to get different colors <clears throat> on your projects. So I went ahead and I colored the branches. Now I'm going to use a green marker color in the leaves. Right. Now before we stamp it, we actually have to huff on it, which just means kind of, you know, like uh, you're going to fog up a mirror or something. You want to do that onto the ink because what that'll do is it'll moisten it enough that it'll let you stamp. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and stamp it. Let's see, I think I want it like this. I like using stamps like this that you can see where you're stamping because you can see right through the block. Now I do have a bunch of wood mounted stamps right now, but I am in the process of converting them over to uh, the unmounted. Okay, as you can see we now have our branch and it's two colors there. We have the wood branch and the green for the leaves. Now we're going to go ahead and use this adorable owl stamp and I'm going to use some oak brown from close to my heart so we're just going to ink this up really good and let's see we are going to stamp him right on this branch Here's some Prismacolor pencils here just to color him in uh, there's many different ways you can color images in, you can um, use markers, you can use colored pencils, you can even use ink by uh, using a sponge dauber and kind of sponging some ink onto here. I'm just going to go ahead and use these pencils real quick because I haven't used them recently. Okay, I finished coloring in the brown owl <clears throat> and now I'm just using some orange to color in his beak. And he is finished. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little bit off the top of here. I just had a little bit too large of a piece of paper. So I'm going to trim that down. And then I'm going to use a corner rounder. This one's by Creative Memories. And I'm just going to round the corners on this. 
Okay, now because I'm going to be using brown background on my card, um, as you can see we're going to be laying these out and use them, I don't want so much white background here. So what I'm going to do is just use my oak brown stamp pad and just a sponge. And I'm just going to color, I'm just going to um, add some ink on around the edge of my cardstock here. And that'll just take down on some of the harshness of the white paper. Alright, let's go ahead and assemble this. What I'm going to be doing, <clears throat> and I have not measured these pieces of paper, I just kind of judge. If you need to know exact measurements, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'd be glad to do that for you. Um, I'm going to lay them in this direction and I have a little bit of overlap here if you can see underneath. So what I'm going to do is using my ATG gun, I'm just going to run a real thin strip of adhesive on the top of this brown. And then I'm going to just lay it back on my card just to kind of get the placement, make sure I have the placement right. And then I'm going to determine where I want this. And I'll show you why I'm doing that in a minute. I went ahead and did that because I wanted to glue those two pieces of paper together. And the reason for that is we're going to be using some ribbon on this project. And I didn't want to um, tie the ribbon all the way around. You know, there's nothing wrong with putting the ribbon behind and tying it all the way around, except it does use twice as much ribbon. And if you're trying to be uh, a little more frugal with your cards and your projects, this is a neat way to do it. What you want to do is just lay a little bit extra, a little bit longer than your project, and flip this over. You're just going to apply a little bit of adhesive to the back, and just lay your ribbon across the front, right where you want it. Bring it around the back, and just stick it right to that adhesive didn't have to wrap ribbon around the whole project, yet you still have the look of ribbon. What I'm going to do now is go ahead and adhere this to the front of our card. Um, I like to use a lot of adhesive when I do projects, that way I know that they're not going to fall apart. And I've really enjoyed using the ATG gun. The refills are really inexpensive, and each roll really goes a long way. Now what we're going to do is decide where we want to place our owl on the card and I'm thinking I want to place them about here so we're gonna go ahead and stamp our phrase now I'm using the phrase owl always love you which I just think is adorable um, this owl branch and this phrase are part of a larger set of stamps that have some other really cute phrases so be sure to check the um, check out Victorine Originals if you want to see the stamp set it's very cute all right, I want to put my phrase about right here. I will always love you. And we're going to use two pop dots on the back of our owl just to kind of hold it down and to pop it up and give it a little bit of dimension. And place him about right there. Now if you want, you can add a little bow right here. Let's see, do I think the card needs it? Or Yeah, let's go ahead and add it. Just cut a small piece of ribbon. You would just slip it underneath your ribbon that's already on the card. And we're just going to tie it a little knot right here. Okay, and just trim off the tails, and there you go. I will always love you with our little owl. Hope you enjoyed. Have a great night. Bye.